Before we get to today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who are subscribers. I know my upload schedule is non-existent, so if you're still subscribed, you are appreciated. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing that. It takes two seconds and is a big, big help to me. Eleven years after the Battle of Yavin, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker approached New Republic Chief of State Mon Mothma, requesting the Republic sanction his quest to seek out and train a new generation of Jedi Knights to act as defenders of peace and justice as they had in the days of the Old Republic. Mon Mothma not only approved this request, but suggested the Old Rebel base on Yavin 4 be used as the site for this Jedi Academy. So it was that Skywalker took a dozen students, some known to him and some newly discovered, to the fourth moon of Yavin to begin their training. The first of Skywalker's recruits, Jantoris was the leader of a forgotten colony on the volcanic world of Eel Shah. He was immediately distrustful of Skywalker, believing him to be the Dark Man plaguing his dreams. After verifying Jan Taurus' sensitivity to the Force, he agreed to become Skywalker's pupil on the condition Luke passed a series of challenges that included the slaying of a gigantic fireworm. At the Jedi Praxium, Jan Taurus quickly proved himself to be Skywalker's most talented student, but his impatience and thirst for power made him susceptible to corruption by the spirit of Exar Kun, who incinerated the Jedi hopeful once Jan Taurus began to reject him. The corruption and death of his first student shook Skywalker to the core and made him question his ability to train a new generation of Jedi. Living in isolation due to his raw affinity for Force empathy, Strain was a gas prospector from Bespin when approached to be trained as a Jedi Knight. Older than most of Skywalker's initial students, Strain rose to become one of Luke's most trusted confidants. Despite mastering his powers, Strain preferred the isolation of the jungle to enact his training. As part of the mission to Korbos, Strain helped defeat a Leviathan and became a Jedi Master after only five years of training. He was appointed to lead the Academy when Skywalker took a leave of absence to search out the Fallen Aussie during the Black Fleet Crisis and continued teaching there until its fall during the Yuuzhan Vong War. He later helped establish another Praxium to train the Witches of Dathomir. The 81st clone of the Comite known as Dorsk, Dorsk 81 hailed from a society which had self-proclaimed themselves as perfect a thousand years previous and had since gone unchanged. However, the 81st clone was considered an aberration by his people due to his ability to feel the Force. Shunned from his society, the Comite clone traveled to the school on Yavin 4, seeking guidance. Upon completing his training, Dorsk returned to serve his people as a Jedi, but was unable to reintegrate into their society. Traveling to the core with Kip Duran, they encountered Natasi Da'ala, who followed them back to Yavin 4, where she planned to wipe out the fledgling Jedi Order. Dorsk 81 gave his life channeling the energies of the other Jedi to force Da'ala's fleet away from the Yavin system. Raised on stories of the Jedi from her grandmother, Tayane had more knowledge of Jedi lore than actual potential with the Force itself, but it was enough for Skywalker to accept her into his academy after having met her at Exus Station, home to a wealth of ancient Jedi artifacts. After the execution of her grandmother, Tayane hopped from world to world, singing in cantinas to earn a living while gathering more information about the Jedi from any patron with the knowledge to share. Joining Skywalker's Academy, Tayane rose to become the Order's most prominent Jedi historian and married fellow student Cam Solacer prior to the Yuuzhan Vong War. The two became caretakers of the Academy on the Jedi world of Osis following the destruction of the Academy on Yavin 4. The son of Jedi Knight Rannik Solacer, Cam Solacer spent years out beyond the borders of inhabited star systems, hiding from the agents of Vader and the Emperor. Eventually captured, Solacer was tortured and mind wiped into becoming one of the Clone Emperor's seven elite warriors on Biss. Solacer's memories would be restored after encountering Skywalker on Nespus 8, facilitating his return to the light. Becoming a general with the New Republic, Solacer helped defeat the Clone Emperor before joining Skywalker's Academy, where he married fellow Jedi Tayane. The two protected the students on Yavin during the Yuuzhan Vong War and later ran the school on Osis. He presided over the wedding of Luke and Mara Jade Skywalker in 20 ABY. Abducted as a baby by Palpatine's Inquisitorius, Brockus served various Imperial warlords after their defeat at Endor. Ordered to join the Jedi Academy as an Imperial spy, Skywalker immediately sensed Brockus's true intentions, but still hoped to train him as a force for good. 
Eventually, Skywalker forced Brockus to confront the evil inside himself, and what Brockus saw drove him from Yavin 4. Recruited by the Warlord Cooler, Brockus was used to bait Skywalker into confronting the Warlord on Almania. When factions of the Imperial Remnant split off to form the Second Imperium, Brockus was placed in charge of a space station established as a school for Dark Jedi, known as the Shadow Academy, but would lose his life when the station exploded over Yavin 4. Trained as one of the Rancor Riding Witches of Dathomir, Karana T was instrumental in preventing the Dark Side Witches known as the Night Sisters from escaping Dathomir eight years after the Battle of Yavin. Approached by Skywalker, Karana T helped him uncover lost Jedi teachings from the wreck of the ship Chu on Thor, which had crashed on Dathomir over 200 years previous. Joining Skywalker's Academy, Karana T was among the students who helped defeat the spirit of Sith Lord Exar Kun and the Leviathan on Korbos. As a Jedi Master, she fought in the Yuuzhan Vong War and, along with Streen, established a Jedi Praxium for the Witches on Dathomir. Growing up, Havet Storm never stayed one place for long, being moved from planet to planet by his mother to escape their legacy as descendants of Jedi Knight Morvet Storm. One of the spies to steal the Death Star Super Laser plans for the Rebellion, Storm would later join the school on Yavin after discovering his Jedi heritage from a K-9 series droid containing a recording of Morvet Storm. Not long into his training, Storm found himself in a confrontation with another of Skywalker's students, a Chistori named Dasan, whose arrogance in his own abilities led him to bully his fellow students. Never one to indulge bullies, Habit Storm stood his ground before the Chistori and was promptly struck down for his trouble. Hailing from a race of towering reptilian bipeds known as the Onks, Maduran spent much of her Jedi career away from the action, but that all changed when the Yuuzhan Vong invaded. As a member of a species known to grow over 4 meters, Maduran was unsuitable for piloting a starfighter and was placed aboard the starship Mon Adapine under the command of Jedi General Kian Farlander. Aboard the Adapine, Maduran helped synchronize the Republic forces through a form of battle meditation called Force Meld, participating in the battles above Ebek 9 and the library world of Abroa Sky. After the Yuuzhan Vong War, she was at the Conclave on Zenoma Sekot, where Luke Skywalker decided the fate of the New Jedi Order, and later opted to remain serving in the Galactic Alliance military. Raised on the planet Agamar in the Lahara Sector, Farlander was initially indifferent to galactic politics, but joined the Agamar Resistance after an Imperial raid on his hometown of Tondatha destroyed his family. After hearing a passionate speech given by Mon Mothma, Farlander enlisted in the Starfighter Corps of the Rebel Alliance, flying against the first Death Star as a member of Gold Squadron. Surviving the worst of the Galactic Civil War, Farlander attributed his piloting skills to an affinity for the Force and was offered a place at Skywalker's Jedi Praxium, eventually becoming the Academy's piloting instructor. During the war against the Vong, Farlander took command of the Mon Cal cruiser Adapine, fighting in such conflicts as the Second Battle of Abroa Sky and the recapturing of Coruscant. Also among Skywalker's first students were the Imperial-turned-Rebel agent Kyle Katarn and the Rogue Squadron pilot Corrin Horn. To hear more about these two legendary Jedi Masters, check out their respective bios located on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next legend!